Well, hello everyone. It is your host there. It is Team Rai Rai. How is everyone doing on this Friday's edition? I am doing very well. Let me cut to the chase and I'll discuss for you. Wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my opinions, my thoughts on the subject. And, of course, the article will be down below. Let's rock and roll. Alrighty then. Now, what do you guys prefer? Triple H as a performer or Triple H as a businessman? I was just very, very curious. For me, the performer of Triple H. Okay, but he makes some very good decisions, okay? He really fresh the NXT brand. Way better they had it back in... Um, 2010 it was horrible okay according to the latest edition of the wrestling Azure newsletter the backstage role of Triple H has changed in recent times wow I never knew that people with the company have talked I mean sorry have called it a quiet domination for the game Okay, the former world champion has been working as executive vice president of talent live events and creator since 2013. Not that long ago, but his title has now been edition edited. I think I said it correctly to be an executive vice president of global talent development and. And etc. I just say that because I can't pronounce the last word, so I'm sorry. So I think he's a very smart man. Maybe one day he will have full control of the business. Him and his lovely pain in the butt wife, Stephanie McMahon. Hem Helmsley. She is a pain in the butt. She's very beautiful, but she does not know anything. Inside of the square circle. Yes, I know she grew up in the business, but she does not know the inside and outs, in my opinion, okay? Just stick with the stuff she does very good, you know? And I don't know if you guys agree, who's ever watched my flipping videos, she's a very annoying with that voice of her heel face or out of character. She's a very annoying I don't know what Triple H sees in her. Probably it's all about the money. I don't know. Because they both are rich. Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, you know? So now they have, what, three kids? I don't know if they will be the future of the WWE. I don't know if the WWE will be around by the time their kids are old enough to compete. Who knows? But anyway, let me know your honest opinion on this article. Now, off the record, they still have no damn decision what is going on at WrestleMania 36. There's rumors they might postpone it. There's another rumors they might cancel it. What's the deal? Time is ticking. You know, I thought by now we have a damn decision. You know, earlier today they postponed the golf. This is. An outrage. This is very crazy. Now, some schools are closed until like April 16th, April 13th, because they don't want the virus spread anymore. They need a damn cure. They need a cure fast. So it don't matter if, my opinion, they don't, it does not matter if they close the schools. It don't matter if they shut down the NBA for a while. The virus is still there, you know? Hopefully, it will just fade into the sunset. But they need a, a cure soon. I guess they work on it as we speak. But back to what I was saying. Triple H is a great performer. But his time, in my theory, 
is over. He don't need to compete anymore. It seems like every WrestleMania, he needs to compete. And I know the other people backstage, females and males, are very pissed off. Wait a minute. Triple H comes and goes, and he wrestles whenever he wants to. That is not fair to the wrestlers of today, you know, who, who works 365 days a year. And I know a lot of you out there prefer Triple H competing than the people who they have right now on the roster. You know, I don't mind Triple H, don't get me wrong, but his time has passed a long, long time ago. You know, what's going to happen if he gets back in a square circle and he he has a major um, botch or AK injury and he's done. He can never compete again because he keep pushing himself to competing. Look at Rick Floyer. How many times is he going to keep freaking wrestling? I know he don't wrestle as much at all. I think flipping God. There should be a limit how old you could compete in the wrestling business. You know what I'm saying? But you could still be there, but don't compete. You know, because you, these young guys are 10 times faster than you are right now, currently, you know. They had better um, equipment when you were growing up um, training as a wrestler, you know. NXT is helping these young stars become a mega superstar. I know a lot of you don't think so, but... And they had a performance center, and they do a lot of good things. Now, back in the day, they didn't have this kind of technology and all that other stuff. They had to do it the old-fashioned way, you know. Had to go to their local gym, you know. Now tonight, speaking of the Performance Center, you'll be on, for the for, for SmackDown. I don't think any fans will be attending. That sucks. So yesterday, it, well, tonight, supposed to be in Detroit, Michigan, at um for for SmackDown, and I hopefully SmackDown for for Detroit will they will make it up for W. I mean, hopefully Detroit. Hopefully WWE will make it up for for Detroit for for um, SmackDown down road or Raw down road. Who knows? This whole virus is messing things up. Instead of having an empty arena with the wrestlers, just have have a cancel or postpone. Hopefully they don't they don't they don't do it for Mania. Yeah, we could have Mania, but no fans are allowed. That will suck. You know, you spend all this money and not a blue. The virus. It sucks. So what's your thoughts on this article? What's your thoughts on what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, video, comment. Hit the notification. Hit the subscribe. The article will be down below. And I'll see you guys tonight sometime. Later.